Xi Jinping's Chinese Communist Party is in deep trouble. We are not saying this. Rather, Kai Xia, a former professor at China's Central Party School, which trains CCP officials, has spilled the beans on Xi Jinping's party. Among all dissidents, she has made some of the most critical remarks about Xi Jinping and the CCP till date. She naturally has inside details of the CCP being a former professor at the elite Central Party School, but she was expelled from the party on Monday over two-month-old leaked audio in which she was heard calling Xi Jinping a mafia boss and the CCP a political zombie. She has spoke to The Guardian in June and made some hard-hitting remarks about Jinping and the CCP. However, the interview couldn't be published because of the threats that she and her family were receiving. Now, she is outside of China and free to speak. Therefore, she asked The Guardian to publish her comments. Xi Jinping's iron grip over the CCP and China, growing discontent amongst the CCP officials, abolition of term limits by Xi Jinping, and the coronavirus mishandling, Kai Xia has spoken about it all. The expelled Central Party School professor said, Under the regime of Xi, the Chinese Communist Party is not a force for progress for China. It is an obstacle to China's progress. She added, I believe I am not the only one who wants to leave this party. More people would like to withdraw or quit this party. Xia blames Xi Jinping's unchecked power for the present crisis within the CCP. She said he forced the third plenum of the National Congress to swallow it like dog shit. He first completed it and then forced everyone to accept it. This is going backwards politically. Even with these two major issues, no one came forward to oppose it and added when no one can oppose him, that means that his power is unchecked. Xia also believes that China's many battles with other parts of the world, including the US and India, are a handmaid of Xi Jinping's ambitions to divert attention from Beijing's internal issues. She added, you can see the confrontation between China and the United States. He has made the world an enemy. At home, all these big issues are left to him to decide. Xia also added, considering domestic, economic and social tensions, as well as those in the party of the last few years, he will think of ways to divert the attention of the Chinese public, provoking conflict with other countries, for example, encouraging anti-America sentiment and the recent clash between China and India. The former Central Party School professor also pointed out how Xi Jinping's regime has created an information gap in the Chinese administration. Xia said, because of the power he holds, he can punish whoever he wants so no one dares to give him different opinions and no one dares to report the real situation to him. Since people don't tell him the truth or hide it from him, he doesn't necessarily know the truth. So, it is inevitable that he will make wrong decisions. Even on the issue of COVID-19 pandemic, she has directly blamed Xi Jinping, saying, At the beginning, he did not get the real news, but he said in a meeting on 7th January that the situation was under his personal command. If he knew on 7th January, why did it take until 20th January to announce the outbreak? Xia sees China transiting toward democracy, political freedom, rule of law and constitutionalism in the future and the CCP dying a death without a burial. Xia also claimed that 70% members within the CCP want reform. The hard-hitting remarks from Kai Xia made it clear that the CCP has been hiding the intense backlash that it is facing from its own cadres within China. And this is certainly not the first time that someone from within the Chinese communist system has spoken up against the CCP. After the Galwan Valley face-off that inflicted heavy casualties on the Chinese PLA, many had spoken up against the CCP. The son of a former CCP leader had suggested that China was looking at a great PLA mutiny and two PLA veterans had also made adverse remarks about Xi Jinping's expansionist plans. Xi Jinping is therefore losing legitimacy amongst his own cadres. Xi Jinping has marginalized the opposition factions within the CCP, but it is also only a matter of time before the intra-party opposition hits back at the CCP General Secretary with renewed vigor. The CCP's end is near, and it is not the US, but the silent CCP dissenters who would trigger its downfall.